You know, as a little kid, uh, I'd get stressed out. There was nothing in the house to drink except for milk. But the folks always had a jar for like making cakes uh, of a jar of maraschino cherries with that funky stuff that it floats in. And I'd get stressed out. And then I would like pop the top on and then I'd go. <coughs> I have to do that again. The reason for that, and the reason why I haven't made any videos in the past couple days is I've been backing up six computers and I have an enormous amount of data. I mean, more data than you could imagine. You know, I think I have about as much data as a small country. Seemingly so. And uh, thanks to the wonderful folks at Apple who decided to upgrade, upgrade their operating system to Mojave. See... Windows and uh, Apple have one thing in common, and you can almost set your clock by it. There is an awesome operating system, then a really shitty one, then an awesome one, then a shitty one. However, everything after Windows 7 was shitty, so I guess that analogy isn't entirely correct. But I spent, oh my god, like a dozen hours on the phone with tech support in India with uh, Adobe Creative Cloud, and I was on the phone 50 minutes waiting for them. Now, I've always been a hardware tech support person, and I used to be number one person in the world answering tech support questions on the MacBook Air. Oh, yes, I've still got some of my articles up, uh, especially on methodology to protect your data. And, but I was always a hardware person, not a networking person. I was having proxy uh, server issues and really strange stuff that was almost like it was haunted. And actually, of the tech support stuff that I did for laser printers and uh, computers, uh, the networking gurus... They would actually say the same thing, like stuff that was so spooky is like, it's haunted. It doesn't make any logical sense. And I talked to upper level management at Apple Tech Support. Uh, the lower peons are really stupid, but they escalate it and then they escalate it again to a person that actually knows what the hell they're talking about. And nobody could figure it out. And I thought, you know, the fat bald tattooed asshole, he's pretty smart. And I'm going to apply platonic retroductive logic to deciphering this problem. And that's exactly what I did, because I know jack crap about networking. I really don't know anything. I'm a hardware person. I can fix shit. You know, you have to be able to see it. Networking? No. So, something I was able to do that upper Apple tech support, upper, not like the lower class peons. Nobody could solve it, but I applied my brain, and I got into the the mode of a Pythagoras or Plato himself, and I applied a methodology of retroduction to discern the problems, even though I have no knowledge of networking at all. It's like, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna figure this out, because the methodologies of Plato and Plotinus and Pythagoras are timeless, and by God, they're actually gonna call me back tomorrow, like an upper, upper, upper level management of Apple, don't need them anymore. I used platonic logic and retroduction, and I was able to f solve the problem. I should have given myself more credit to begin with, within about 30 minutes. So the problem's been completely solved. And of course, all of this originated from Apple's stupidity of their new Mojave operating system. I knew Mojave would be bad because the prior operating system was really very good and stable. Mojave's not that bad, but it caused interference. The issue was sourced in a program called Little Snitch, which is incredibly useful, and one other program. And it was interfering through really spooky means. So whew, I never thought I would solve a networking issue that networking gurus at Apple could not themselves solve, but I did. And so that's where I've been all day today, and yesterday I was insanely busy. So I feel like I got to apologize, but I don't know why I have to apologize because you know, everybody else will, like, make a video every four or five days or every week, and, you know, I, I get, like, a guilt trip. I guilt trip myself of I'm not, because I have a thousand things I want to discuss. I've got, like, a list of videos on field theory, philosophy, metaphysics, and photography, and uh, it always happens about November of this time of year. Am I making excuses? I guess I am, but at least they are true excuses. Sometimes, you know, you don't have a wife or kids or anybody else to help, not to help you out. You got to do everything yourself. That's what I got to do. And that's why I'm stressed out. And that's why I'm drinking, drinking this nasty stuff. <laughs> These cherries are floating in. <laughs> 
So it's, it's gonna kill you. It's like something has got to kill you. Might as well be this shit. Oh god, that's good shit. I'm gonna edit that out later. <laughs> Adobe. And Apple. <sighs> Crappy operating systems.